Here are the top five platforms to sell your digital product, including no code right now. They are AppSumo, Gumroad, Odia, Envato Market, and Udemy. AppSumo is a platform where you can find discount software tools, and that's not all. You can find templates, courses, all these things at a discount. Gumroad is a platform where you can sell pretty much anything. And the thing that sticks out with Gumroad is it's really taking you from zero to $1 for you to start making money right now. Podia allows you to sell just about anything under your own brand. So if you're going to be selling courses, webinars, digital downloads, community, you can do this all with one platform instead of stitching everything together like Frankenstein. Envato Market allows you to buy and sell different web themes, templates, code snippets, videos, you name it, you can be doing this with Envato. Udemy allows you to sell courses. So why go with one over the other? It's important to note, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to sell? That determines what platform would be best for you. Also, it depends on, do you have an audience or not? Podia is perfect if you already have an audience and you don't want a percentage cut and people already know and like and trust you and they're just buying something from your own brand that's something for Podia. But if you're looking at something like AppSumo and Envato Marketplace, Gumroad, all those things, they have the audience. They have the bigger audience and now you can be getting all of the people signing up and knowing who you are and buy from you. In the comment section down below, let me know, do you already have an audience and you need something like Podia or do you need customers and you need a platform like Udemy or AppSumo? Let's get into the details of all these platforms. And if you like this kind of content, make sure that you like and subscribe. With AppSumo, there's two great things that you can do with this platform. Number one, you can see what's hot and understand what the audience is looking for, what people are, are really spending their money on, what kind of digital product that you want to model or put into the marketplace based on what's already trending right now. For example, I can look at, okay, Heartbeat, which is a platform to build communities. It has 115 reviews. I can then look at the reviews, understand why people love this. Same thing with Squirrely SEO. We have 296 reviews. You can dive into what people are saying, why they like the product, all of those things. And then that gives you a perspective. Is this something that you want to do? Is this something that you can align with? for your own product that you're trying to launch. If it's not software, remember on AppSumo, you can search by templates, you can look at what's going on, what people like, what people are buying. And if it's courses or other kind of creative assets, you can start looking at what the top searches are or look at the entire type of category at a glance. Over here, I can browse the product type. Right here, I do creative assets. I can look at what people are selling collection of 100 notion style illustrations. That's interesting. And so now I can kind of get a better look of what's happening. If I go to templates, I can look at what's going on with templates as well. And that will give you a grasp of what's selling. From there, I can go to sell on AppSumo and I can look out at how to get started selling at AppSumo. There's a video that we have, there's gonna be a link somewhere on the screen where we go step-by-step step within 60 minutes launching your product on AppSumo. And you can do this with ease. Next, we have Gumroad. You can get started by just saying start selling and go through the process. It will take you less than five minutes. But before you even get there, you can start discovering, just like AppSumo, you can see what people are buying and some of the reviews. So here we can look at animations, apps and software, books and writing, comedy, just to name a few. If I click apps and software, I can start looking at what people are selling. I can see how many reviews they have, the stars, and kind of give me an idea of, is this an idea that I should be pursuing? Is there a market for this? This is all the things you can do right here and people are telling you if it's a good idea or not. Once you get started, you create an account and then you can put this on Gumroad. One of the benefits, just like AppSumo is, there's a discovery feature. So people that are interested in Gumroad, there is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of visitors at this website all the time, then you can go and get a portion of people that might be interested in your product or service can be right there at Gumroad. Next up, looking at Podia, you can create pretty much anything you want. You can start selling webinars, courses, communities. What I would say is first write down what are you planning to do with Podia because you wanna have a plan because there's so many things you can be building with Podia. Build your first idea and then go from there. You can even create a pre-sale for the product even before you totally finish it. And that way you can validate to see if the market even wants your idea before you build out all of your, your no code or digital asset or product that you think the market wants. You can test it with a presale, make sure people sign up, and then from there, let them know when the, the full release drops. 
This is a platform that we use and our clients use a lot. And this is because it can be so flexible. So in the comment section, let me know if you already have a brand and you're looking for a platform or if you're just getting started out and you still need an audience. We also have another video where we do a full breakdown of Podia and all their features, but if you want more videos about Podia, let us know in the comment section down below. Next up, we're gonna be talking about Envato Market. I've used this for many years. It just keeps getting better and better. And this allows you to sell whatever you'd like. You can do different themes for WordPress, the list goes on and on, but this allows you to get a really good idea of what is popular, what are people looking for, the sales, how many sales, and it gives you the reviews. So you can see, okay, is this a theme that I could be building either in WordPress or maybe I could create a template in Notion or Coda that could be very similar, but it's just on my platform of choice. And if I'm looking at WordPress, because obviously there's so many websites on the web that uses WordPress, but all of these categories can still fit in whatever platform you like. It shows corporate, creative, e-commerce, education, just to name a few. If you click on one of them, you can look at the design, look at what people are saying, and then go from there. This one has 2.2K sales, it's $75, elegant restaurant theme. So this gives me an idea, okay, maybe there is a very specific uh, niche for restaurants, local restaurants that I can go after. And if I already have a very specific theme or something that I could be using in Notion, Softer, whatever, now I can model it based off of what this looks like where I could get business. Of course, we're not saying plagiarize or bootleg, but look at the inspiration, what you could be doing with the theme and then going from there. Next, we have Udemy. This is really important because this allows you to, again, get in front of a different audience that you might not have access to. Udemy speaks to thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of students a day, and they're running ads. So if you have a certain course or a certain idea that is popular, they will already promote you and you're gonna be getting a percentage of all the sales. Of course, the platform will as well, and you can go look at all the details of the pricing breakdown, but they're doing all the heavy lifting. They're doing the ads and getting in front of people for you to benefit. Now, you could use this in a couple different ways. Number one, you can have a beginner's course on Udemy and then more an advanced course that can be off of Udemy, that's an idea, or you could just look at the search volume of different courses found in Udemy, and that could be a starting point of a course or maybe a template that you have thought of based off of the certain courses that people are taking. There's so many different ways to be using Udemy as an asset for you to grow your own brand and for you to really have an idea of what you should do next. In the comment section down below, let me know what platform you're going to be using to sell your digital products. And if you like this kind of content, make sure that you like and subscribe. We do this every single week.